Hi everyone, just a quick update today on the 10 gigahertz beacon configuration using the new Leo Bodner LBE1420 uh, GPS reference device. Uh, in my previous calculations there was a bit of a math error due to using an old scientific calculator that rounded off. I said that um, in my example for 10368.390 beacon frequency that the clock frequency should be, the reference frequency should be uh, 376.16 hertz above uh, 10 megahertz. Now I used my old uh, TI-30XA scientific uh, calculator to do that and I didn't realize how much it was rounding off. I later realized looking at the beacon frequency on my receiver it seemed a little bit uh, off frequency, a little bit high. It's a couple of hertz, two or three hertz or something like that and I wasn't even sure that wasn't my receiver but um, I did the math and it turns out uh, using a more uh, precise uh, calculator that actually uh, there's a round off error there in the original calculation and it should be uh, 376.1574074 uh, hertz uh, above 10 megahertz. So um, the original frequency down here at the bottom uh, gives you a uh, a frequency that is actually, um, I wrote it down over here, uh, two point, uh, about 2.7 hertz, 2.688 hertz uh, off at uh, 10 gigs. Now, I'm a purist and so almost 3 hertz, that bugged me a little bit, probably wouldn't bother most people. So I decided to get more precise. Now it turns out uh, you can only go six decimal places on the LBE1420. So in this middle calculation, this shows what you end up with there. If you go out to uh, six decimal places, um, you know, uh, I've got this in megahertz, but you're entering it in hertz. So the decimal would be after the 376. So 376.157407 hertz above 10 megahertz. Then you come out with this frequency here, which according to my, um, my scribblings, I think I did this right, is... Uh, you know, less than half a millihertz off frequency at uh, 10 gig. And if half a millihertz or less than uh, bothers you, then I surrender my self-proclaimed title as a, as a purist or perfectionist, because uh, that's definitely in the weeds for me. Now, uh, just another quick um, quick update here on spurs uh, and phase noise. There are some spurs on this. Um, now that I've upped the power level and I can see it a little more, I assume this is not my receiver and that these are real. So at uh, plus or minus 200 kilohertz, there is a spur with this, regardless of whether you go with the uh, rounded off frequency or the more precise one, that are about uh, 45 uh, dB down at plus or minus 200 kilohertz. That's acceptable to me. That's better than what I was seeing with other frequency generation schemes, so I'm going to ignore that and uh, just go ahead and, and run with this. There are some other ones at plus minus 24 kilohertz that are about 55 dB down, and you can see those uh, here, uh, here too on the waterfall. But again, um, and maybe even some weaker ones uh, around that area, but these are far enough down that I'm, I'm going to ignore these. I'm comfortable with that. There's also some closer in stuff here, uh, you know, really close in within a couple hundred hertz, 300 hertz or so. That's very likely power rail contamination. Uh, right now the beacon itself is running uh, on a uh, switch mode power supply, which I know is dirty. I know for a fact uh, it's, it's not a real clean supply. I had to take it out of my uh, station because it was killing uh, reception on HF and, and VHF UHF bands and I looked at it on a scope and it it really wasn't that clean so there's that and there's also the fact that the LBE 1420 right now is running off uh, USB power from my laptop and so that's likely not a real clean power rail either so later I will try this on a battery this close-in stuff is likely just uh, power contamination with what I'm running the beacon on and again, the, uh, the spurs are far enough down, so I'm comfortable ignoring them. The uh, main point today was about the uh, frequency calculations being a little off. Now, phase noise-wise, um, here, and, and I don't know what the phase noise uh, characteristics of my, uh, 
receiver are either. Uh, probably not, you know, perfect, but let me zoom in on this. Uh, so at one kilohertz saw frequency, which would be about here somewhere, the uh, phase noise on this is, let's see, uh, more than 55 dB down. Uh, according to my receiver, which I believe is calibrated. I'll do some other checks later and do another update if I find this is wrong. But I believe it's uh, 55 dB or better down at plus minus 1 kilohertz. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with the way this beacon is, uh, is turning out here. All right, folks, uh, that's the update today. I primarily wanted to correct the uh, math error that I discovered in the original uh, clock frequency calculations. See you next time.